Hey guys, uh, so I'm out here in the garage today. I just wanted to give you an update on the LTO battery and what I've been doing with it. Uh, and then I'm also going to try to hack into it uh, and turn the relay on uh, with just cutting a small hole in the top. Um, I think I'm gonna be able to do it, so I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens here. So this is what I've uh, narrowed it down to. Uh, I've taken off everything except for the top plastic cover here. Um, and then I added a couple of 10 gauge wires and an Anderson connector. Uh, and this has been in my kids' power wheels now for a week or so. And it does really well. I have no idea what the cell voltages are. Um, all I know is it goes faster than a normal 12 volt battery and the kid loves it. So, uh, and then I kind of put together this little charger. Uh, this is a uh, buck converter, the Drock model. Uh, and then I also have a 24 volt power supply. So I'm uh, just got the settings all dialed in here and it's just about charged. Uh, and so all I have to do is plug it in here and then it charges in, I don't know, an hour or two. Um, and that's that. I also found a use for the old case. Uh, these are my old, old uh, 18650s that I'm going to throw in the bin, but they do fit in here really well. Uh, so that could be a project for somebody uh, if they wanted to try to reuse these cases. Uh, it's got the nice little lid that goes back on, and uh, that would be a nice little battery if you put it back together like that. So then we come over to this guy. Uh, so this is measuring zero volts on the terminals. Uh, the relay's shut off, and I'm going to try to cut into the top of it right about here uh, and see if I can get to the relay wires and then apply voltage to them uh, to get the relay to turn on. So I made some marks here where I'm going to cut it. Uh, this is the positive terminal, that's the negative terminal. So I have it flipped around and I'm going to cut this square out right here. All right, so there we go. So there are the BMS wires in there. And then these orange wires here, the orange taped wires uh, are, uh, one set of them is going over to the relay, which is over on this side. So what I'm doing here is I just slice the tape a little bit and these wires are the correct wires here so i just gotta pull the ins or the uh, tape that's on them pull that back and get at those wires um i also disconnected the uh the bms plug while i was in here um i'm not using it uh and so i don't know if if any power is lost to powering up the bms board that's in here um so I'm just going to disconnect that for now. So I got the uh, got the wires uh, separated here. I haven't cut them yet, but there is an orange blue and a black orange. Um, and so those are the same wires that go into the top of the relay here. This is the relay out of the other one. Um, so I think all I need to do here is snip them and apply power. Uh, so let's see if I can get that done. Okay, so I have my power supply here. I have it set to 15.6 volts, which is just because I was charging the battery and that's the max voltage. Got these wires stripped. If you can see that there, I got one hooked up. And there we go. So I just heard the relay click. Now I'm gonna see if I can get voltage into this thing. So I got one, I got the negative lead hooked up here. Um, and one thing to note is I don't have my multimeter with me today, so I'm not going to be testing the voltage, but what I am going to be doing is just hooking it up and this power supply should start uh, getting power in here as soon as I hooked it up. And boom, there we go. So I have it set to 1.56 amps. Let me turn up the amperage a little bit here. I'll turn it up to like, uh, do three amps. And there it is. So now the voltage is going up. It's at 13 volts right now. It was at like 12.9 when I hooked it up. That is awesome. So, uh, yeah, that works. So once that relay is activated, it really, well, so it's a latching relay, so it won't, disconnect in theory um, 
And so once you have it activated, you can basically just close this thing up. Um, I would probably cap these two wires that are going to the BMS. Uh, you don't want them to decide that they want to shut off and then apply power and something bad happen in there. Um, and the other thing is these two black wires, they're solid black wires. Uh, those are attached to the uh, battery positive terminal over by the relay. So you don't want to cut those. Uh, they, they do have straight uh, voltage from the battery. So, um, you know, if you cut them and they short out somehow in there, uh, it wouldn't be a good day. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm just going to cap these two wires for right now, cap actually these four wires, um, and just close this back up and maybe put some hot glue in there and, uh, that'll be it. So just before I close this thing up, um, I put some hot glue on, uh, the two wires that go over the BMS, uh, and then I put some electrical tape and then also some hot glue on the other wires just in case I have to get to them again. Uh, if for some reason the BMS shuts off, uh, or, or sorry, the relay shuts off. The BMS has, is not hooked up to the relay anymore, so it shouldn't. And so just to recap what I did here, um, cut this hole right here. It's just to the right of the LG Chem, uh, and it goes about halfway uh, over to this side. If you cut any more, I mean, you can, but there's, there's nothing over here you can get at. Um, then I pried the uh, wires out. Um, I have the blue with the orange stripe and the orange with the black stripe. Uh, so then I cut those and then going over to the positive side, I applied uh, 12 volts. Uh, the positive was on the orange with the black stripe and negative was blue with the orange stripe. Just momentarily. Uh, and that was enough to click the relay and turn everything on. Uh, and then I just put a little bit of hot glue on here and some tape and hot glue on those uh, just in case I need to get in there again, but I don't think I will. Um, and this was just to kind of keep these separated and isolated. Uh, and so now I'm going to glue the cap back on. And I'm just holding this down here. So I applied a bead of hot glue all the way around and a little bit on top of the uh, BMS connector, the black part of it. Uh, and then just put this cap on and then... Um, just put a little bit more around to seal it all up and uh, there we go if you don't already have a hot glue gun I would highly recommend it it comes in really handy for a lot of things so there it is I'm just gonna uh, let that dry a little bit more and get it cleaned up and we'll be all set the battery is still charging it's at 13.2 volts now Putting about 4.14 amps into it, 54 watts. And uh, so yeah, I would say that was successful. I'm really glad. All right, guys, so last note here. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but I've been charging this thing. It was up at 14.2 volts. I was charging it at like four amps, so not a lot. Um, and you can see here that this negative battery terminal is up at like 133 degrees. I mean, the battery terminal's like hot to the touch, uh, quite hot. Um, the positive is cool. Uh, I don't know what is going on on the side of this battery to make it heat up. This is where the BMS is, uh, and the whole side is warm. So, I'm going to have to open this up. I'm not sure what is causing that. Um, but I think I'm going to have to open it up uh, and see. You know, it could be a loose connection on that terminal. Um, I, I, I really don't know at this point. But uh, kind of disappointing. All right, so I got it cooled back down here for the most part. Uh, it is about 90 out here right now, so this is pretty good. Hottest is about 96 on there. So, uh, I'll show you what I did here. One second, let me get off the thermal. So I had to pop this back open here, um, and I plugged this back in. Um, I think maybe what was trying to happen was the, the BMS was getting confused because the leads weren't plugged in. And either it was, was burning off power or, or doing something. Uh, that's just the theory, at least, that I have right now. Um, 
So I am going to charge this again and see if it heats up. I'm going to keep a pretty close eye on it this time. All right, well, it's finished charging now. I'm up at 15.6 volts. And by the looks of it, it hasn't heated up anymore. It's around 96 degrees, which it was when I started. And so I think that does it. Uh, so I'm going to say don't disconnect the BMS plug. Do not. Um, not sure what was happening, but it was it was basically holding it like 14.2 volts. Uh, so it must have been burning off that power somewhere inside the BMS. Um, you know, just because it, it, it is still powered, but I was dis I disconnected the leads. Uh, so there we go. All right, guys, so I just discharged the battery down to 13 or so volts, and now I'm charging it back up again. I'm charging it at 5.1 amps, which is as high as my power supply will go. Uh, and you can see, actually, the wires are fairly warm there. Um, but the battery and the BMS side of it, which is the left side here, oh, sorry. Yes, the left side is staying cool. So I think we solved that. So again, do not unplug the BMS wires on the top of the battery. There we go. Have a nice day. All right, so there we have it. It's all sealed up. Doesn't look perfect, but pretty darn good. And uh, the handle still works and everything. So still charging and we are all set. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good Father's Day for all you dads out there, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.